Hello and welcome. This is the scene here in East London, in Stratford to be exact. We're at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we've got potentially exciting league action coming up on the menu for you. It's West Ham United up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Dali. Kirsty Hansen. Oh, a lovely ball. And a goal! No long wait for the opener today. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. Well, the action underway once again, and the onus is on West Ham to find a response now. Read it well. Pacheco. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Dali. Now with Nobbs. Daly. Can they create something from here? In position. Well, the truth of the matter is she didn't really make the goalkeeper work very much at all. Longhurst. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Excellent vision. The high press was very much on. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Nobs. No possibilities inside the box. Excellent defending. Viviana Sey. Promising looking attack from West Ham. But the danger averted for now. Jordan Nobbs. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. And the referee's whistle, that will be all for the first 45 here in East London. And this confrontation is underway. Well, the ball rolling again. West Ham trailing after the first half. Can they come up with a response here in the second?
Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Mailing. On to Nobbs. Staniforth. Sarah Mailing. Is it going to be? And now she scored not once, but twice. Thoroughly enjoying herself out there. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And when through on goal, she makes no mistake. She just hits it so cleanly and with power. That's a great finish. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And into the last 30 minutes now. Dagny Brignard's dot here. Evans. Shimizu. Brignard's dot here. Promising looking ball. A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. West Ham still trailing, but this game very much alive as a contest again. Twenty minutes remaining. Showing a lot of guile there. Well, it wasn't all that far away, pushing for an equaliser. Well, it was close, but in the end, not close enough. She's a bit unlucky, really. Time for a change, then. Sarah Mailing. Well, can do better in terms of the pass. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a fairly even match. But at key moments, they've just been second best. They could have defended better for the goals and they've missed opportunities at the other end. It'll be a disappointing result if it stays this way. Could play it in. A poor cross, all things considered. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. And room now out on the wing. The delivery. A cross lacking guile and accuracy. Well, very effective play in possession. Real chance. Really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. Going short.
Well, able to close down the shot. Can she put it away? And a fantastic diving save. It's a short one. Corsi. Well, there goes the final whistle. And really annoying for Leicester and their fans. Not at their best. And three points dropped. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal. But I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. And now they get the ball rolling. 